Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. So now I'm going to show you on how to download and set up SQL Server 2019 Express Edition. So what is Microsoft SQL Server? Uh, Microsoft SQL Server is a relational database management system. It was developed by Microsoft Corporation. So what is a database server? It is a software product so that has a primary function of storing and retrieving data as requested by other uh, software applications. So it's like something like a cabinet that from where you can store your things that is important to you and that you can retrieve later on if you need it. SQL Server 2019 Express Edition is the free edition of SQL Server. It is ideal for development and production for desktop, web, and small server application. After setting up the SQL Server 2019, I will also show you on how to set up and configure Microsoft SQL Server 2019 reporting services. So let's get started. To download the SQL Server 2019 Express Edition, so we need to access this uh, URL. So I'll just put it in the description below. So just check it out. Then after that, we'll just scroll a bit. Then at this area, we can see Express. So we just need to download it. Okay, so earlier I already downloaded this cop a copy of this installer, so I just set it up now. This one, just double click. Okay, so as, as you can see, it is now started. So I just do the custom. Uh, set up in C SQL 2019 install so the installation is just started so let's just wait to for it to complete so by the way the one that we're using is the online installer so as you can see the size is only around 6 MB so that's why it will just still download the entire package so it's now downloaded so it will now begin the installation okay so we'll just click new SQL server standalone installation okay so just this is the license and term just click I accept then click next show details so the installation started so I don't want the update to check. Just click next. Okay, so as you can see, the, there's a warning about the Windows Firewall. So we just ignore it for a while since I'm just using a local machine. So I'm, I'm going to use it on my own only. I'm not going to share my SQL server. So just click next. Okay, so now just click database engine client tools I don't want local DB no need for the replication machine learning no need so just click next okay so now we have to name our instance so currently I have uh, SQL Server 2010 and SQL Server 2012 so I just name this SQL Express 2019 click next okay so here the type automatic just click next again so here for the authentication mode I usually use the mix mode so that we can also use the administrator account which is the SA username and I'll just enter a my default password Okay, and now just okay, click next. Then the installation will start again. Okay, so now 
our installation is complete so but uh, it is asking us to, to restart our PC so I'll just restart it quickly and then we'll continue on uh, showing you on how to install the SQL Server Management Studio and next one is the SQL Server Reporting Service so on the previous screen so we use this uh, Server Installation Center to install our SQL Server 2019 and we also have an option here to launch and download the SQL Server reporting service and also the SQL Server management tools so but we will not use this since we already download a copy of the SQL reporting service and also the SQL Studio ma management studio to so to download the SQL reporting service so you just need to access this URL so I will also put it in the description below as well as the SQL management studio so I will also put the URL in the description below so let's just start installing the SQL server management studio double click this okay so here the screen so I just need to click install Okay, so now we have completed the successful installed the SQL Server Management Studio. So let's just click close and let's try to open it so that we can test our SQL Server installation. Let's scroll down so you can see here SQL Server 2019 and tools. So here let's just click SQL Server Management. So let's just wait for it to open. Okay, so now this is the user interface of the SQL Server Management Studio 2019. So this one is the wrong. So because we name our instance of our SQL Server 2019 as SQL Express 2019. So I just use the Windows authentication since we use a mix mode. Connect. We successfully access our newly installed SQL Server 2019. So as you can see, this is the default database. Okay, that is how easy to install and configure SQL Server 2019. So on our next video, I'll show you on how to install and configure SQL Server Reporting Service 2019. So just make sure to click like and subscribe button and hope to see you on my next video thank you